ASTM E84 is the test method used to determine the rate of flame spread and smoke development of building materials. In other words, surface burning characteristics. A long Steiner tunnel apparatus is used in this fire test. The ASTM standard is quite similar to NFPA 255 and UL 723, so you may see any of the three in the literature. It shows how building materials are categorized by class and how test results are shown for each material tested by both flame spread index and smoke developed index with different numerical values for each class. Return air plenums are their own class for testing purposes, as these assemblies can quickly carry superheated air, flames, or smoke from room to room. Here's a rundown of building code requirements as they relate to fiberglass insulation. Building types 1 and 2 require a flame spread index of 25 or less and a smoke developed index of 450 or less. Types 3 through 5 have similar requirements but allow combustible insulation facings which are then covered by code approved finishing materials. Return air plenums require a flame spread index of 25 or less and a smoke developed index of 50 or less.